Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is creating requests in Postman. This video will show you how to create get and post requests in Postman. A prerequisite for this video is downloading Postman and creating an account, both of which are free. So now let's jump into Postman. This is the web browser version of a free account. So start creating a request. Navigate to your workspace. And if you don't have one, just create a new one. It's very simple. And now start the setup. For each new request that you make, you're going to start by hitting the tab button to create a new tab. You can change the type of request that you make by selecting from the drop down to create a get, post, put, or any other option shown below. And then your actual request URL goes in the spacebar here. Get requests retrieve data from an API. No information is modified from get calls. You'll be receiving information that already exists. In the URL, type in the following request HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash json placeholder dot type code dot com slash users now let's check our response first our status code is 200 which means it was a successful request and now let's check our response body if you select pretty you can see a well formatted easy to read version of the response body the response should include a list of objects that include fields such as ID and name. Once again, this information already exists, you should retrieve it from the API call. Now let's move forward to a post request. Post requests send new data to an API. Information is created and then stored. Let's first create a new tab, and then we're going to use the same URL that we used last time. However, this time for the method, we're going to do post. Now let us set up the body that we're going to send as information in our request call. Go to the body tab. Select raw and then we're going to change it from text to a JSON. Now let's paste our body. This information will get passed in with the API call. You can check the description box below for the full body and then change the username or the regular name to any name you like. Press the send button and now you should receive back a 201 response code, which means it was successfully created along with the response body reflecting the information that you entered. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a video just like this, please click here. If you want other videos that I have, Please click here, and hey, don't forget to learn something new today.